What makes a good video so fluent? Surprising to the viewer, building up tension. Well, a lot of those things are created in the editing and we call them montage techniques. Hey folks, it's Jordi here for Citycom.net. A good editor is like a ninja. If his work cannot be seen, he did a good job. In other words, you must make sure a cut is not visible. When looking at this example, we can clearly see a cut happening. It's even so noticeable that it's distracting. We call this a jump cut, as the frame size between the two shots is somehow identical. To make this less visible, we must cut between different frame sizes. For example, from a medium shot to a long shot. The cut is less visible and we feel like the time in the video has been ongoing. While in reality, this could have been filmed in two separate days. And this brings us to the first montage technique, which is called cutting into the action. As you cut from one shot to another, make sure there is a distracting action going on. This makes your cut even more fluent as the viewer is focused on that movement instead of the cut. The second trick is to add a link between two different scenes. This is something that I love very much as it could tell information without actually showing it. Let's say that you go from a fight scene over to a cooking scene. Two whole different subjects, but with the right cut we can link them to each other. Let's say that Senna is at a battlefield and he is holding a sword. He's in a good position and able to kill someone, but as he swings his sword we cut to the kitchen scene, where we start off with a close-up from him cutting the apple. Now when adding some sound to it, we get this result. <laughs> Suddenly, chopping an apple became an extension to the previous scene of what was going to happen to his enemy. The next trick is rather simple as you don't have to do anything. It's the don't cut technique. Let's have a look at this example. Senna was first looking to something and then we showed the object, the banana, he was looking at. I don't believe anyone got a special feeling with this shot, but to add more tension and curiosity to the shot, we let it play for a while. The longer you wait, the more tension you build. Of course, there's a certain point when it just gets annoying and people change the channel. The fourth technique is working with insert shots. A variant of that are cutaways. Let's say that you have a scene of someone who is waiting. At a point he looks at his watch. What we can do now is insert a close-up of his watch. This is called an insert shot, as his watch was already visible in the master scene. When cutting away to something new, like a clock on the wall, you're talking about a cutaway. This technique can help you to put more rhythm in your editing, to stretch or crop the length of a scene. It's therefore advised to also shoot enough of such inserts or cutaways. And then the last montage trick is called the L cut. This is again to make a more fluent transition between two different scenes. This is where the audio of the next scene starts earlier and overlaps with the first scene. In your editing program it will look like this. The name L cut comes from the shape of your video and audio track. Here is an example of such an L cut. The second scene is being introduced, so the viewer also expects a new scene to open. He will not be surprised, but gently guided to the next scene. Now these were just 5 montage techniques, but there are hundreds more. I hope you've enjoyed this introduction to it. Thank you so much for watching and stay creative.